this morning we're going to talk about using canes and walkers safely. So it's important to know that there's no age requirement for using a cane or a walker. So anyone who feels a little unbalanced or has had some falls might be someone who would benefit from using a little bit of support to walk with. So it's important when you use a device to make sure that it's the right size. So we're going to go over how to make sure your cane is the right size. So if you can go ahead and stand up, put your arms down by your side, and then we wanna make sure that the cane is right about the base of your hand when your arms are straight and you're standing. So this is a good size cane for her, and she's gonna show you how you walk with it. So go ahead and take that for a test drive. And then you can turn around. And you wanna make sure that the foot opposite the cane goes with the cane. So you're gonna do cane left, right. Good, and then turn around. And then when you go to sit back down, always reach your hand back for the armrest of the chair. And then you can have a seat. So this type of cane is a regular standard cane. It just has a single point on the bottom. Um, the other type of cane that we're gonna talk about is a quad cane. So this is a small based quad cane. They also make a large based quad cane, which looks exactly the same. It just has a bigger base that's a little bit wider. Um, when you use a quad cane, also important to make sure that it is the appropriate size. And then you also wanna look at the bottom and make sure that the flat side of the legs are up against your body. So this cane would be set up to use in someone's right hand. If you were gonna use it in your left hand, then you would want to flip the base so that the flat side was against your body. And that's just to make sure that you don't trip over these legs that are sticking out. So we use this cane and we size this cane exactly the same as the standard cane. So if you wanna go ahead and stand up and then just walk a couple steps forward with that cane. So cane, cane left foot and then right foot. and then turn around. So make sure that we do cane, left, right. Good, and come all the way back to the chair. And then you can turn around and have a seat. This is a rollator walker and we are going to talk about how to use it properly. The first thing that you always wanna do is make sure that it is the appropriate size. Um, these walkers are adjustable both up here and down at the bottom. And you just unscrew the pin, take it out, slide the pipe up and down, put the pin back in where you want it and tighten it back up. So if you wanna stand up, we'll check the height. If you wanna relax your arms down by your side. And the top of the handle here should meet right at the base of her hand. So right about here when the arms are straight. So if you wanna go ahead and take it for a spin, you can unlock the brakes and just walk forward a little bit, turn around and come back. With these types of walkers, it is important that you keep it nice and close to you, that you don't let it get too far away and that you keep good posture. You don't wanna hunch over like this when you're using it. When you sit back down, make sure both of your legs are up against the chair. Make sure you lock the brakes again, and then make sure you reach your hands back to sit down. These walkers are nice to be able to have a place to sit down if you're walking a long distance and you get tired. However, you always wanna make sure it's safe before you sit on it. So always making sure that the brakes are locked and then putting the back of the walker up against a stable surface if you are able to find one. And then also you never want to use this type of walker as a wheelchair. So you don't want to sit on it and scoot forward because that could result in a fall. Mm -hmm.